Hello, Mario. 2018 Engineering Maths Tutorial Number 6. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, this is Tutorial 6. And the theme for this week's tutorial in classes is, um, well, mathematically it's trigonometry. But um, something to look at this week is feedback and the importance of feedback, how important it is and how we should go about it. So I'm going to um, sort of do most of that in the uh, in the classroom in the Moodle moment. But uh, just, you know, let you know that uh, that's what's coming up and you can be prepared for that. So here's a here's a group of uh, fairly happy students all uh, talking to one another and giving a little bit of feedback. And this is what we want to say, um, or we want to see around the around the maths room. This this sort of this sort of behaviour and interaction because it shows a very healthy classroom and a very healthy learning environment. So let's um, just uh, go over to the big screen and we'll uh, just have a look at uh, what's happening in class. So um, this is the home page of the Moodle the Moodle course uh, for the engineering maths and there's our formidable maths team of myself, Ken and Joseph all ready and waiting there to help you with your mathematics and to get you motivated and ready to pass uh, engineering maths with um, flying colours. So that's what we would encourage you to do, encourage you to listen, encourage you to Ask for help when you need it and to accept a little bit of um, feedback um, when necessary. So um, just uh, just to have a look at uh, the tutorial situation, here's um, today's um, tutorial here. This is for the civil tutorial. Just before I go there, I'll just remind you that in the electrical there, um, Joseph um, prepares some questions for his tutorial. Um, this is his tutorial five last week. And so these have very helpful uh, questions and answers there that are in addition to the worksheets and uh, the previous quizzes. So if you're looking for parallel examples or something a little bit different, um, pop along there and see, see how you go. But we're doing the civil tutorial here, which is... Um, situated uh, there in the thing and we scroll down to tutorial 6 which is Monday the 26th of March and here's the PowerPoint here that um, takes us through the introduction to the tutorial so the tutorial itself of course will be live and um, will not be um, recorded enable editing there and slideshow uh, from the beginning and then we just uh, drop it out of the way so here we are in with the group here i am sitting there <laughs> engineering tutorial math six so we've seen that before so um, i put my contact details there up so just to let you know that i'm uh, available uh, 24 7 really um, if I don't want to answer the phone um, if I'm not available I just won't answer um, it's as simple as that so if you have any questions um, send them my way I'll endeavor to answer them uh, as quickly as I possibly can okay so uh, the program for today's class will be to uh, sign the register very important that you get that signed so that uh, admin know you're here and uh, can give you you know you don't chase you up for uh, lack of attendance and so I'll be handing back the weekly worksheet four and the weekly quiz uh, they'll be uh, marked and handed back to you and then we'll be uh, taking a look at weekly worksheet five and handing out weekly worksheet six in anticipation of uh, your work the next week so then we'll um, maybe uh, take a look at what to do before next week. Although I, I imagine by now it should be uh, fairly familiar with you. And then we'll finish up um, or perhaps at uh, 2.30 so you can prepare for the lecture at uh, 
at um, three o'clock um, and ready for the two-hour maths lecture of the week. So that's the the plan. Uh, that's a similar plan to the other five weeks. Nothing too uh, radical or too different. So you should be very familiar with that by now. Um, in terms of this tutorial, what we're hoping to do is to review worksheet four with handing back. So you'll see that the um, model answers are up for both um, the weekly worksheet four and the weekly quiz four. And um, you will have, we can have a look at and take questions on worksheet five because that'll be readiness for uh, worksheet weekly quiz five. And then we'll, um, if time allows, uh, get a little bit of work in on worksheet number six. And then just before the end of the thing, we'll uh, perhaps discuss what to do before next week in terms of the logistics and things like that. Now, in terms of feedback, um, we're, as I say in the class, we're going to be looking at uh, feedback, which can take a number of forms um, in the terms of it can be opinions, answers, review, and comments. All of these things constitute uh, some form of feedback, as well as asking questions as well, because that elicits feedback. If you ask a question, um, you know, you get something back, so um, very important. And it's an important process that should go on between student and teacher and teacher and student so that uh, everyone knows where everyone's at and we can uh, address any issues um, that might come up and also reward, um, you know, good, um, good outcomes and uh, celebrate uh, good outcomes and sort of give ourselves a little pat on the back. That's as much as important part of feedback as anything else, but uh, more of that uh, later on. So, um, yeah. So we'll, what we'll do now is go and have a look at, uh, just have a bit of a quick look around the Moodle site. I don't think there's anything too um, exactly new at this um, point in time um, that you probably weren't aware of, but um, let's just uh, first of all go to assessment here and just a reminder that the weekly worksheets are here and with the model answers have been up and available for worksheet four and you'll be working on worksheet five here. Okay, well, let's have a look at worksheet five. Um, so um, there's a lot of um, trig uh, material there on uh, worksheet five and we will do be doing this in the, um, in the classroom um, and today in the, in the lecture, um, some work on uh, particularly the trigonom trigonometrical aspects of Worksheet 5. So that will be um, covered in today's lecture um, there. So um, probably leave those issues uh, till then. In terms of the, um, the test that's uh, coming up in this instance, um, the the trig there will be no trig questions in the test so it'll just be on the um the questions that are not trig questions basically so um if it's got a, a sine or a cosine in it it probably won't be a question well it won't be a question in the test so no need to worry about those just yet but uh, hey um they will be um coming up in quizzes in the future so um yes there's a chance bit of a chance to catch your breath in that regard but um, there's still uh, a lot of the other stuff there that uh, need, will need to be sorted so uh, yeah that's uh, worksheet uh, five it gives us a bit of an idea of what's happening going forward um, I've pointed out um, that uh, the tutorials there uh, are there and uh, this here's this week in class um, we'll be looking at trigonometry week six so the first week of that so there's the pre-class um, trigonometry and the Moodle moment which as I said will be themed around feedback so um, I think that's probably all we need I'll just point out that there's lots of um, information and things for, for you to do to prepare for your class so this um, should be done um, before class so maybe watch a little bit about radian measure 
so that when um, questions are asked, uh, you're able to put your hand up and join in or you've got some sort of idea of what's going on. So that's uh, all very well and good. So let's just um, wind it up there. I don't think we need uh, too much. There's nothing um, too out of the ordinary. It's very predictable now and um, moving forward. So um, we'll see how that all, all goes. All good. Cheers. See you.